Just a few notes about the song today. Uh, Freddie Fender's great song, Wasted Days and Wasted Nights. Um, something to know about that. I was familiar with it from the 70s when it was out as a country hit. Uh, loved it then. Um, but it really was one of the early rock and roll songs. And, um, and there's an interesting story about that. Freddie uh, recorded that on the Imperial record, record label um, with a... You hear how swampy it is. It was a guy from Louisiana, and uh, he was kind of into Tex-Mex and Cajun stuff. And so anyway, it's, it's got that great sort of New Orleans sound in the original 45. And I'm sure it would have been a monster hit for him, but he went out and started touring it, and he got busted on marijuana charges, and he wound up in jail for several years. I mean, it's kind of a tragic story. Um, it's not kind of a tragic story. It's a tragic American story. Anyway, he comes back in the 70s, has a big monster hit with it, and has a big career. Um, and why did he have to suffer like that? Anyway, um, uh, some other things. Um, so it's a cool song, very cool song, uh, and it really wants um, to be played on, on Fenders. Anyway, Freddie Fender, he named himself after Fenders for crying out loud. So it's the full Fender rig this time, the 65 Showman. Um, I've got 
Uh, we haven't completely restored the tremolo on it, but we've got a little bit of tremolo lurking around in the background there. I'm doing my bit to uh, advertise for, for local cool stuff. This was in Sioux City, Iowa, Sioux City Guitars. Um, they provided the, uh, the, um, the Dakota County delay, which has given the, uh, the sort of slap back on the guitar today. I think Doug is putting some slap back on my, my vocals, which hopefully he's taken off while I'm talking to you. Um, and um, so shout out for uh, uh, Sioux City Guitars and the, and the cool effects pedal. Um, I've had a lot of fun with that the last uh, a month rehearsing this song and getting the... Um so I set the delay to give even beats in the uh, in the beat of the song it's sort of like having a little metronome along and still I can't quite keep the rhythm but there you go um, the last bit um, this was a uh, the the custom uh, uh, speaker cabinet and so we've got both a 15 and a, and a tweeter on this and I think that gives a nice full sound it gives a full sound in the room it wouldn't make a darn bit of difference in the recording so much but um, uh, but it's important for me as the artist listening to have that kind of feedback, the emotional feedback of the, that full sort of bodied sound. Um, again, uh, people who play Telecasters know that this is just, that you get this big round wound and if the more speaker you can get behind that and the dynamic range of the amplifier really brings that out. Um, finally, um, and um, just a little bit of trivia here, um, I took the switch plate on the telly, reversed it so that I'd have access to the tone knob to do um, pedal steel sort of effects and wah-wah effects. I haven't mastered the coordination yet. There it was. That was a good one. I love it when it gets that whap sort of sound to it. It's kind of cool. Um, and people will get really adept at this. Um, it's a simple mod. Um, you have to live with having your, um, your selector switch absolutely reversed, but uh, that's not a great tragedy. And if you really want to mod it further, you can switch out that switch so that it makes sense. It's not hard, but I was just too lazy. Literally, two screws, flip it, and you've got yourself uh, access to the, the, the tone knob so that you can do wah-wah effects, which is really pretty cool. Another neat thing about tellies, um, if you track it down on the internet, there's a guy who's playing the Nutcracker suite on a telly using that, that, that tone knob to get all kinds of really cool sort of string quality effects and, uh, um, and pedal steel kind of effects. Um, so that's a lot of fun to track down and I leave that to intrepid uh, surfers to sort that out. Um, so that's probably enough babbling, um, probably more than enough babbling. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I'll see you next time.